Yes, we do have an eagle in a tree. However, it's making it very complicated for us to try and find out what it is because we can't really see any colors. We're going just by shape. So I would say something like a tawny eagle, but um, I am hoping that it's going to fly into an area where we can see it slightly better than what we are looking at it now. Now we had to leave the hyena den unfortunately because um, the adults just came around, they pretty much did a loop around the, the den or the different entrances of the den and then they carried on and they left. So we don't really want to um, be around if the adults uh, left. So two of them walked past and carried on going. I thought perhaps they were going to go for a drink at Galago Pan but we went down there and they still weren't there. So I think maybe let's just give them a little bit of a break and carry on while we look at all of these different creatures that are still around here. Oh, I can hear our friends, the ground hornbills in the distance as well. But just look how powerful that beak is on this eagle. It's got to be very sharp and potent to be able to rip to pieces anything that they get and to be able to feed on it successfully. Now I'm going to try to get slightly closer and see if perhaps it doesn't fly away so we can put an end to this mystery. And see what it is that we are looking at. Murphy, you say that they are so big. I agree with you. With you. I do think it was a Tony Eagle just judging by the size. And of course, now it's gone and perched on a tree completely against the sun. <laughs> so. If we couldn't see it earlier, I don't think we're going to be able to see it now. Although, who knows? Let's give it a try. Maybe now we'll be able to have a look with the binoculars and the camera, seeing that the sun is to our side. <laughs> Funny looking head. So yes, this is a Tony Eagle looking at us from all the way over there enjoying well it was looking at us now not so much probably just enjoying the warmth of the sun like we said it's been a cold morning but everything has been out and about and we see a vulture as well in the distance so i wonder if perhaps there's anything around here i know there was a mention of things around this area and normally when we start seeing tiny eagles and vultures and battleers, it could, or could be an indication that there perhaps there is a kill somewhere around this area. But because it's been so cold this morning, I don't think that there's necessarily a kill around here. I think that this is where these animals uh, spent the night. And because it's not warm enough, then they haven't started flying around and looking for food. I think it's a bit more the case of the vultures. The eagle doesn't necessarily have to... It's not as grounded as the vultures are when there are no thermals going up. Julia, you're wondering what uh, Tony Eagle is most likely to hunt in this area. Well, anything from little rodents to small birds to even small mammals. Uh, it's, it's Tony Eagles are, are known to be powerful enough to be able to come down and steal the young ones for Diker, Stienburg, and even Impala. I've seen Tony Eagles flying away with the tiny little Impala lamb just a few moments after it was born once in the Kruger National Park. But also if there is a kill, you'll see that the Tony Eagles come down, the Battelier Eagles come into the area, and so do the different species of vulture. Hmm. Alright. I think maybe let's go down this drainage, just for good measure, to make sure that we are not forgetting anything around here. Just to make triple sure that they all spent the night here. I do remember that vulture, so I think there's not much. Seems like Taylor is still hanging around with Tandy and it seems it's been a very very exciting sighting. So go back to them and see what Tandy is doing now.